In this video, I'm going to explain how to palpate rotator cuff muscles. You know, everybody loves uh, rotator cuff, yet many people uh, struggle with palpating rotator cuff. First thing first, this blue one is teres minor, this black one is infraspinatus, this red one, supraspinatus, from front view, this beige tape is subscapularis. So on this person, scapula is like this way. I'm going to start with infraspinatus, teres minor, and supraspinatus. I will start it from these muscles. So this is this person's scapula. So this is inferior angle, medial border, lateral border. So infraspinatus should be around here because infraspinatus covers whole surface of scapula. So I put fingers anywhere here and I ask her to do external rotation. I feel it. Then, this is external rotation. Now, uh, this is infra spy latest. I think what you should. <laughs> so this should be infra spy natus. What is function of infra spy natus? It is external rotation. I ask this person to do external rotation. Now I feel the contraction here. So this is. Infraspinatus. Infraspinatus is easy. Now again, this is uh, inferior angle, lateral border. Remember, teres minor originates from lateral border. However, there is another muscle here, which is teres major. How do I differentiate? Let's say this is teres major. Difference in between teres minor and major is function. Teres major is internal rotation. Teres minor is external rotation. Let's say I am on teres major and ask this person to do internal rotation. I feel contraction. I go a little bit superior then external rotation. Good. I feel contraction here. So I am on teres minor. Then Then, important landmark is this one, spine of scapula. You have to find spine of scapula to palpate supraspinatus. So, once you can find uh, spine of scapula, you can go touch supraspinatus. So, this is her spine of scapula. It was deep to uh, spine of scapula, right? But there is a big muscle here, which is trapezius. I need to relax trapezius. How do I do it? Elevate shoulder a little bit, then I can go deep inside the trapezius, which is supraspinatus. The function of supraspinatus is abduction. Especially, it is important for initiation of abduction. My fingers are on supraspinatus. So I feel it. Don't feel the contraction of trapezius. You might feel contraction of trapezius, but you feel contraction deep to trapezius. This is supraspinatus. So, subscapularis. Subscapularis on anterior part of scapula. But first thing first, I need to find big muscle here, which is latissimus dorsi. 
Lattice mass dosa is right here. Imagine lattice mass dosa is right here. I go anterior to lattice mass dosa. Then I end up lateral border of uh, scapula. Then I go even deeper. Now I can touch subscapularis. Then I ask person to do internal rotation because function of subscapularis is internal rotation. This is lattice mass dosa. I go on the lattice mass dosa. I go deep, deep, deep. I hit lateral border of scapula. I go even deeper. I think my fingertips are on the edge of subscapularis. What was function of subscapularis? Internal rotation. Now I feel contraction on tips of my fingers. If you feel uh, contractions here, that's lattice mass dosa. If you feel contraction on the tips of fingers, that's gonna be a subscapularis. That's it. So that was subscapularis. In this video, I explained four muscles and how to palpate, which is rotator cuff. So I hope this video helps your uh, palpation or studying of rotator cuff. So if you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe.